Hi everyone, my name's Christine and I'm one of the founders and admins from PSSM and MFM Awareness and today we're going to be talking all about P2. We're going to be explaining what the P2 variant is, what the P2 variant affects, what the function of the gene associated with P2 is and explaining how a positive P2 result is interpreted. Let's begin. So what exactly is P2? P2 is one of the variants of a group of hereditary muscle diseases known as PSSM2. P2 is looking likely to be a variant of myofibrillar myopathy. It is only said to be a likely variant because there is no current evidence in horses to show mutations in the gene associated with P2 or myofibrillar myopathy. However, there is plenty of evidence of this in humans. What is myofibrillar myopathy? Myofibrillar myopathy, or MFM, is a degenerative hereditary muscle disease caused by a mutation in muscle proteins. Myofibrillar myopathy affects skeletal muscle, and in some cases, cardiac muscle. It causes muscle weakness, loss of muscle mass, and in cases where cardiac muscle is also affected, respiratory problems. Although there is no current evidence to show PSSM2 causes respiratory problems in horses, there are a number of PSSM2 horses with respiratory issues. What does the P2 variant affect? The P2 variant affects something called myotillin. What is myotillin? Myotillin is a structural protein that's encoded as the myot gene. Think of it a bit like cement, it helps hold everything together. Myotillin gives structural strength and stability to sarcomeres in Z-discs, which are units of streaky muscle tissue. What is the function of myotillin? Myotillin encourages formation of something called actin bundles, which are multifunctional proteins, in vitro and non-muscle cells. Myotillin stabilises something called F-actin, which is a protein by slowing down the rate at which F-actin is broken down. What happens when there is a gene mutation in myotillin? When a genetic mutation occurs in myotillin, the mutated myotillin clusters together, causing clumps which are also known as aggregates. These clumps of myotillin prevent the proteins in muscles functioning normally. How does having a gene mutation cause a horse to be symptomatic? Let's look at this in an easy way. Having mutations in myotillin is like building a house with no cement. You can still build it, but at some point in time the house will crumple and fall to the ground. This is what happens in PSSM2 horses. The mutation in that one gene affects the rest of the muscle structure. It might work for a little while, but it is weakened. And as PSSM2 is degenerative, as time goes on, more clumps or aggregates occur and the muscle structure will become weaker and weaker, leading the horse to become noticeably symptomatic. How do I find out if my horse has P2? By doing the PSSM2 hair strand test that covers the P2 variant. The PSSM2 hair strand test costs around £250 and is available through Equisec for USA owners and CAG for the UK, Europe and the rest of the world. How do I interpret the P2 result? If your horse comes back P2, P2, this means the horse is affected with PSSM2 and they are homozygous for the mutation in the P2 gene. Horses who are homozygous for P2 are usually much more severely affected. If a homozygous horse is bred from, they will 100% pass on the gene. If your horse comes back MP2, this means the horse is affected with PSSM2 and they are heterozygous for the mutation in the P2 gene. If a heterozygous horse is bred from, they have a 50% chance of passing on the gene. If your horse comes back NN, this means the horse is not affected with PSSM2 associated with the mutations in myotillin, P2. If a non-affected P2 horse is bred from, they will not pass on the P2 gene. Why are horses affected by P2 at different ages? Because every horse's body is different. Some horses are stronger, some horses are weaker, some horses are more mature, while others are more immature. Some horses are able to withstand pain and even grow accustomed to it, and some horses simply can't take the slightest ounce of pain and will let you know when something is wrong. Every single horse is an individual and different, just like us. And that concludes our video on the P2 variant explained. 
We hope you found this video helpful and that you now have more of an understanding on what the P2 variant of PSSM2 is. Our next video will cover the P3 variant of PSSM2 to help you understand PSSM2 even further. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, join our Facebook group, follow us on Instagram and check out our website for all things PSSM, MFM and RUR. Thank you for watching.